Hi, do you care about where your food comes from? If so, after watching this video, please also watch in-depth boring review about C. Sparacy by a boring expert. Find the link in the description. So let's debunk the myths about farmed seafood in 7 minutes. Myth number 1. What the fish is being fed and does it contain fish meal and fish oil? Yes, fish feed does contain fish meal and fish oil, but they are not the only ingredients in the fish feed. Most of the fish feed is made up of plant ingredients and it only contains 10% of fish meal. The fish meal and fish oil used in the fish feed comes from the fisheries which is unfit for direct human consumption. Thanks to the scientists that new ingredients like microalgae and seaweed are becoming part of the fish feed and fish will be getting more of what it eats in the nature. Some of the farmed fish species today are not using fish meal and fish oil at all. Myth number 2 Is fish farming is wild fishing in disguise and does 50% of the seafood comes from fish farming? Thanks to aquaculture that the pupil can enjoy healthy seafood without putting pressure on wild fishing stocks in the ocean. Aquaculture is the solution for food security for many regions in the world and it is not wild fishing in disguise. In fact, it is the opposite. 50% of seafood coming from fish farming is a good thing and we should celebrate it. Myth number 3. Does salmon farming have sea lice and diseases? Yes. Like all living beings on our planet, fish also have diseases. The same way plants, other animals and humans have diseases. Sea lice exist naturally even in the wild salmon and they rely for food on salmon. Think of them as ticks and insects in the agriculture. The numbers of sea lice are recorded and it is heavily regulated to make sure that they do not exceed to the dangerous limits. In the documentary, there is a clip which shows one poor fish with lice, but this does not represent all the salmon farms. The diseases are prevented and treated as the part of the routine, the same way in any other farming method for plants and animals. Meet number 4. Does fish farming have huge organic waste? The numbers presented in the documentary are wildly exaggerated. Maybe because fish pee and poo in the water, but when it happens, because of the calm waves, this goes in the bottom and settles down, making a thing called sludge. There are technologies which can convert this organic waste into the organic fertilizer which can be used to grow the plants. Scientists are also working to grow the seaweed and microalgae on this organic waste, a concept called regenerative aquaculture. Myth number 5. Does 0 to 50% of the salmon die from egg to plate? Humans, plants, animals, all of them die. That's normal and yes, fish also die at the fish farm. But the numbers presented in the documentary are very high. The mortality of the fish varies from region to region and to generalize this number is not right. Fish farming would not be profitable if the mortality was going to be that high. Do you know that in some of the fish species in nature, the survival rate is as low as 5 to 10 percent. Please Google it. Myth number 6. If the farmed salmon is colored pink, the color pigmentation in seafood is present naturally. The ingredient astaxanthin is a naturally existing powerful antioxidant which helps salmon to stay healthy. It is like antioxidants you get from grapes or red wine. And yes, fish feed contains a tiny amount of it so that fish can stay healthy and the color pink comes from it naturally and it is not painted on the fish. Think about 
color of egg yolk which also comes from the food eaten by hen. Myth number 7. Does fish contain toxic chemicals? If the fish contains toxic chemicals to more than safe limits, it will not make it to the supermarket. Like fruits and vegetables, fish is also checked for food safety parameters to make sure that it is safe for human consumption. Thanks to the pesticides and herbicides used in the agriculture, some of the chemicals do make it to the fish, but food and feed safety is made sure with the help of various technologies. So, should you still eat fish? Choice is yours. Do you want to eat the fish which is nature's factory for producing proteins, minerals, vitamins and omega-3 in a resource efficient way? Or do you want to eat highly processed food treated with chemicals which gives you fake taste and instant gratification? Let's please not make our food choices based on Netflix documentaries and let's focus on solutions for sustainable food system and improve it. Please do your own research. This is about your health. Hope you enjoyed this video. For more content like this, please subscribe to the channel and remember to share the video. Thank you.